Hello, I'm back again. Just another little quick video. Another question that um, I wanted to address is why were the Arabs so successful in taking on the Iranians? And the key year in all of this is 628. So basically, Husro's army came to an agreement with the Parthians. And the the reason why the Arabs were able to take hold is because the Sassanians were all divided. They had multiple rulers. Um, they couldn't unite all the clans. There were a significant number of the Parthians willing to cut a deal with the Arabs in order to get power for themselves. They were under the shadow of the Sassanians for the previous few centuries, but if you go back further in time, they were the ones who had all the power. The way the family structure in Irani Iranian society worked were there were about seven big families and um, the, the Parthians were up in the north and in the east and they were basically playing second fiddle. It didn't mean that they had no power. They had regional power, uh, but they didn't have that overall power. And the way the society ran, it was very decentralized. So you had people in power, obviously, but um, local regional groups had their own power, but the Parthians wanted to cut a deal um, and so they made an agreement with the Arabs. Now, what was it that the Arabs wanted? Basically, they wanted access to the trading posts that are on the Silk Route, okay? Um, they wanted um, to own those, essentially, and take a cut along the way. So just to ha have those. And then they were quite happy to let the Iranians run their own affairs, as long as that was the agreement. And um, the Iranian traditions basically say that the Arabs were were true to the word on that. They basically agreed with the Parthians that they would allow them autonomy and they would let them get on with it. They wouldn't interfere as long as they were getting their uh, tributes and they had um, control of the trading posts and making money off that. That's essentially what the Arabs wanted. Um, and so that's that's an important aspect of it. Uh, so was it a miracle that the Arabs um, were so successful with this big conquest? No, it wasn't. Um, the Sasanians didn't have the backing of the Parthians. So without them, without their support, they couldn't fight off um, the, the various Arab armies. If they had the Parthians, they would have had no problem at keeping them at bay. Um, there was an awful lot of uh, division, even among the Persians themselves, the Sassanians. Um, it was a perfect storm. Not only had they those issues, um, they had issues of, they had a series of kings and queens that only lasted a few months. So it was impossible to really put up uh, a defense. Um, and then they had young rulers that had to have uh, chaperones to basically make the decisions. Uh, that wasn't ideal as well. Um, and so that's the perfect storm we're talking about. Um, 628 to 632 was the key four years where there was an incredible amount of chaos. The Byzantines were um, had spent years fighting the war, so had the Sassanians. Their coffers were well spent. They were basically tired of war and um, the Arabs took advantage of the chaos and uh, got what they wanted as being typical traders. The Arabs wanted to have control of those interposed, the trading posts. So that's it. Nice and short video.
Talk to you soon.